Now, y'all been telling me this is the record, and Ren has been on a run where we've caught nothing but joints I've liked by Ren. Let's see if we can keep the Ren run going. And keep dropping in the comments good songs by Ren. But Ren Power is the joint of the day. Hit that thumbs up button. Well, I know y'all be. Wait till we decide if I like the song or not. Get it? Uh. Power. Okay, and I, 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 I think what happened when I started reacting to Ren, I got a, a new influx of people. And, yeah, nigga, why we didn't start with that? How many videos has Queso said? And this tells you, hey, motherfucker, watch all my videos. But that sample, the drop off rip, I'm always a sucker for a good sample. And that drop off rip, we going in good. Now, how are we rapping today, Ren? Are we suffering suck attacks or are we talking that real shit? Because I said, I want a record where I can find Ren. Now I'm talking a lot. Let's go. I had to build it up. A little bit of a show. These kids don't play my shit. I never had a top 10. Maybe it's because I sing about violence and depression. They say don't blame these kids. Just focus on yourself, friend. Well, if they don't like what I'm doing now, then fuck them. Don't. All right, so that was heat. That's fire. Because, like, I say the greatest rap verse of all time, not that, but the greatest rap verse of all time, right, is Jay-Z's God Did. Niggas like, holy crap, you're going to give Ren the best rap verse of all time? No, hold on, but just let me cook. It's Jay-Z's God Did, right? Because not only is he keeping it real and the stakes are so beautiful, but everything he is talking about is so well deck documented in hip hop or uh, uh, they say uh, 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 Eminem and Ren again, Eminem in any of his songs, Eminem and White America, all the way where he talks about how his music is, be is being reflected. And it's like, I could trace this. I could see this. Okay. Ren says, I'm not making a song that's going to have that crossover appeal because I'm talking about what shit that, Ren deems to be some real shit because he might be a nigga going through depression. He might be going like that, but okay, we're giving a record that tells me where Ren's headspace is. They say don't blame these kids, just focus on yourself, friend. Well, if they don't like what I'm doing now, then fuck them. Don't trip high up the ante, learning licks like John Pashanti, smoking spliffs and popping candy, idolizing Sid the Nancy. Woo, rock and roll in my soul, bumping, knocking cold on the dole, fish and chips and games consoles, council house and violent flow. But life went sweet at home. Mama and dad took a trip and they split shalom. What will be, will be, but me, I hate to see my mom alone. Late night crying, get so hot. What that nigga said? Hold on, and I had it. KBD award for Red. I do get a kick out of giving Red his props. You know what I'm saying? It's sort of like when you see someone who's been like picked on, and in this case, I guess picked on by me, but it's just how y'all fucking phrase shit. I won't pick it on the guy. I just didn't like a couple songs, but. You know, then you see him finally, like, do, like he shoots a shot and makes it in PE. And you're like, hell yeah, nigga. There you go. That's how I feel about Ren right now. And, and do you know another thing that I really, really enjoy about this song? I think Ren is very artsy. And I think sometimes he goes super artsy. But so, for me, who's listening to you on a very literal level, I'm listening to the words you're saying as they're meant to be said. I start to feel sometimes Ren has a character, we all do, that he leans into, but this sounds like if I ever hung out with Ren and we just kicked the shit and we just smoked and chilled and talked, I feel like I'd be getting this kind of vibe from the nigga, which is a cool guy, I don't got a problem with this shit. Definitely gonna spark a cigarette up in here and I'm gonna have to tell him he gotta leave though, I ain't gonna lie. See my mom alone, late night crying, get so high to try to silence sounds of fighting through the walls. I heard love dying, so I focused on my That's what it was. I focused on my You felt his mom Damn. Now let's go back. And that little nigga said some real shit. He said like his dad left on a trip and didn't ever come back, and he's talking about how that affects him, right? But then he also the biggest effect that he said, at least that I took, is because he, he sort of pat, brushed it off, right, his shoulder. But the biggest thing I took from that shit was, like, that look like, damn, how this is hurting his mother. And how he's 
in, in like you know interpret right interpreting what's going on there and like damn my mom's lonely and shit and no matter what even if his dad was a piece of shit which i don't know who that i don't know that nigga i don't know nothing about the guy but you can't be the greatest of people if you just leave your kids but i ain't gonna talk about no nigga daddy yeah actually i'll call you a piece of shit you leave your kid i don't give a fuck who your kid says but That nigga got off track. Fuck that nigga dad. Why you leave that nigga, cuz? I, I just can't stand a nigga. Like, you, there's levels of piece of shit in this world, and a nigga who can leave his own kid, you're the highest level of piece of shit. Because it's like, oh, you don't you don't give a fuck about nothing. There's nothing sacred with your cocksucking ass. All right, my bad. A little rant, diatribe. I don't like it. But I do. I, I like how you getting personal here, right? Now let's go back. Let's go back. These kids don't play my shit, I never had a gold plot My style is old school, but I swear this ain't a throwback I put my visions into rhythms on a dope track To understand the place I'm- At this point, has Ren got a top 10 or a plaque at this point? Y'all let me know, has Ren did it? Cause he's got to at this point Coming from Let's Go back. When I was 16, I was a sick teen I was a victim of my head I was just 16, up in the kitchen Racking up lines till my nose bled 16, Woo! in an affliction, in an addiction With my dread I was just 16, I was quite a sick then I was a prick then, I was a pleb But fuck oh, it Oh no, this is Ren's best song And I love that sample and the way like he's using the sample To represent music So I focused on my dun, 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 dun. But then also it's like he was 16 In that shit and I'm gonna be real with you. That is a weird age. That's a that's an age where your brain, hormone, spirit, and body is gonna get really out of whack. And so you're gonna be getting pulled in a lot of directions. And and Ren's talking about it real with no filter, with no shame. It's because you shouldn't be ashamed of who you are. Even if you are a fucking crackhead, bro, I'm always gonna respect you for saying I'm a crackhead. That's come right here to the man. I'm always gonna respect a crackhead who just likes to smoke crack. Because it's like the person who lies about it. Now I question you. Now I question, have you really dealt with this monster? And Ren, I, I give you this. Because I was real hard on the suicide shit. I don't like that. And y'all can feel how you want to feel about that. How I feel about that. I don't give a fuck. But I will give you praise on, I do appreciate you being so vulnerable. I was battling with a mental de with a mental demons in my head and all this kind of shit. And this is how I got here. And I can see that you now led, you're out of that. You're now Ren. You're now power. We're all misguided individuals. Life can suck it. My cop ain't half full, man. I'm filling up the whole bucket. I'll and you see this, like, it's a real positive outlook on life because we all go through shit, people. I'm sorry. You go through shit. We all go through shit. And that's not to minimalize or nothing, but we all go through it. And we sh can relate to that. That means I can feel you. You might be going through some shit right now I'm not going through or I've never gone through. But you should never forget it gets better. And if you don't want to hear that, you're just being negative. And I give you that. It's tragic shit happens sometimes a nigga just wants to be negative and you're warranted but don't forget that and don't let it become your personality trait a lot of y'all niggas in the comments i was honestly i felt really bad for you guys i'm not gonna lie when if you go read that joint on ren shit i really feel bad for a lot of those people because it's like oh wow you've fallen so in love with the idea of misery you have forgotten that it doesn't have to be like that all the time you know and you've now made it your own characteristic. And But, like, I like that Ren's giving that message on both ends, bro. It's okay to be happy sometimes. Pour that fucking glass full, bro. Go ahead. No for no, I go for broke on every single song I wrote. And every single song I write brings freedom to my weary mind. A healing that you'll only find inside an intricate design of kicks and snares and fat bass lines. I flip the script and. When did this come out? Is this newer, in? A year ago. Okay, okay, because if you are gonna be sad sometimes, that's fair. We're people, everybody has a wide array of, of emotions and I always give that comparison to people who will show us that wide array of emotions. I do respect you, I do respect you. That reminds me of Tupac, you know, he could do so much. Brenda has a baby, hit him up, changes, all that shit. Just know that when you talk, when there's people listening, you carry a responsibility. 
And I'm, it's something nobody wants to, because it'd be so much easier for me to say there's nothing that I'm saying here would be, and this is to a much smaller scale, right? But nothing I, I say here should I be held accountable, and you should understand that everything I say is under the guise of like comedy or satire, or I'm talking from uh, beforehand and all that, right? But I know that's not reality. And I know if there is like a 12-year-old kid doing this i can't be promoting things like cocaine because it's just like even if i did it which i don't even if i did it i wouldn't be promoting it because i know that what that would do to kids not saying you are at all I'm not talking about red but it's just like that weight and responsibility people take as they speak and it's like i didn't know like look at the sun in this video and shit like bro what the fuck Y'all, man, you guys who recommend rent to people are terrible. God, you suck. Only find inside an intricate design of kicks and snares and flat bass lines. I flip the script until I find my... It is what it is. I focus on my... I don't know what the sample's saying. I ain't gonna lie. But I just hear like, hi. I know exactly what it said. Yo, and shout out to Ray. Hold on, let me, let me see if the nigga on the back here before I say what I gotta say. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get it. Where is this? I saw the one. Bro, this feels good to watch. Like, doesn't this make you motherfuckers happy? This just feels this is good for the soul, y'all. I ain't gonna hold you. Shout out to you, man. Shout out to you, my nigga. This is all it is, man. Where is it? Get it. Uh. Power. Get it. Just riding around with his homie in a small town, man. Any, night, any nigga grew up in a small town know what that feeling like. Yo, red is heat. I don't know why you guys decide, not all of y'all, because there's a lot of people who've been saying to rec who have been recommending this exact video the whole time. And as I've gone through and looked, y'all have recommended all the joints I've liked also. But, man, the guy makes very songs on different ends of the spectrum. Most ha niggas walking around happy-go-lucky people of this world start with this song, Okay. Or even those last one I did. Start with one of those. Bro, he's not He's not like NF. This nigga has talent. I knew he had talent as soon as I seen that shit of him playing the guitar with Sam. What's his name? Show them this. This is the one. That's a certified vibe checker. Here comes another reaction by me right here. Big music video by me right here. Bing. Click on it. Show me some love. Watch this video while you quit. Hit that thumbs up button, nigga. I forgot my line. 